Celadon Imperial. My name is Stephanie Gardner and this is my new work. This is a new series of paintings. There's eight total so far and I hope there'll be more. This is um, a departure from the paintings that I've done before and that many of these works have a very high relief of texture. It's almost like where painting meets sculpture. This is going to be a guided tour through this painting, looking at it from all four directions, looking at it in various lighting situations, and then at the end looking at it in, at in, for interior settings, for an interior placement. There's a couple pictures of different interiors to give you an idea, and hopefully the whole film here put together will give you a greater understanding of the piece and add to the depth of of seeing this piece and um, understanding it and hopefully making it yours. This painting is about 24 by 24 inches and uh, it's painted on wood. The wood's about an inch deep and then the texture goes beyond that to about about an inch and a quarter, getting close to about an inch and a half in depth. So in this center section here are these little gems. They're a jade and celadon color with gray glass on the top. And the little dots, raised dots, are kind of a gold bronze color. It has a very relaxing feel. The line there on the left and on the right are a chocolate brown. It looks like a melted chocolate brown. And then it goes into kind of a tree bark, really very much a wood color. That's me, Stephanie Gardner. And here we are back at the gems, a closer look at them. So I hope that this guided tour enriches your experience of this piece. There's so much detail to see, it's hard to capture it in just a photograph. Here we're moving on to a section that's more bronze with a bit of green in it and back to the tree bark, that chocolate brown, and to the gems again. This painting was inspired by the different aspects of earth, whether it be tree bark or metals or precious gems that we find in the earth. When people excavate these from caves or from the earth, it's just it's just wondrous to me that that our that our earth is so full of things that are useful to us and beautiful. And so this is an expression of that. The colors in this piece are gray and like I was saying, jade, celadon green and chocolate browns and bronze and just various shades of green. And um, it's just a very, very relaxing piece to enjoy um, with both the colors and the depth and the texture. And I'm showing it here in throughout this film in various lighting situations to give you a better idea. The painting does change a lot throughout the day with a different light, but it can especially be highlighted. And I completely recommend gallery style directed lighting especially with dimmers dimmers are amazing on these pieces and you can adjust the light um, depending on what kind of a mood you want to set for it or, or what you want to focus on in the piece it's just having dimmers with directed lighting is, is magical I can't even put into words what it does to a piece and especially in my work because of the metallics that I use and um, the colors that I use and the shading it just it just brings it greater dimension almost to the point of you know taking a painting that could be flat and making it much more 3d and then the fact of that makes it a more intimate experience, a more immediate experience. So um, the other thing I was doing um, with this film is wanting to show you the painting in all four of the directions. The idea in contemporary abstract art is if a painting can be 
work in more than two directions, but especially in four directions, then the artist has achieved balance within the piece. And I have put hardware on the back of this piece and, and decided on a dedicated direction for it, but I'm not picky about if a collector chooses to hang the painting in a different direction. It's just, it's interesting to me. And at a certain point, I have to decide what direction it, it goes in. But I always try to, when I'm working on the painting and when it's in process, to look at it from all four directions, or at least two directions, um, just to help balance out the piece when I'm working on it. So in this little film here, I'm going to be showing it in various lighting situations and in uh, different directions. And then towards the end, there's some pictures of it in interior settings to give you a, a greater understanding of the piece and some suggestions of, of placement. You know, collecting a painting is a, is a stewardship. The art we um, put in our home and or in our office, but especially in rooms like the bedroom or the living room, you know, a piece of art, a painting becomes the backdrop of your life. And if it's in the bedroom, for example, you will wake up to it every morning and it will be the last thing you see before you go to sleep. So it's it's a very important um, it's a very important consideration bringing a painting into your life and um, so I try to bring a lot to this painting and to all my work really because I realize the importance of that I hope that um, this guided narration helps you have a deeper understanding of this painting. But I also hope that you go back and watch it without any narration so that you can have your own experience of it and let the references or the inspiration for the piece or, or what it might bring up for you. Um, if you watch it without narration, then you'll be able to to bring your own points of view, your own experience, your own thoughts to the piece. Um, yes. So here we are looking it up close again. And what looks like texture, if you're familiar to my original work, is texture. It doesn't just look like texture. You can actually feel it if you touch it with your hand. And over time, um, in the different places that I've exhibited work, there have been a few times where I've met people that are blind, and I have allowed them to, you know, carefully touch the painting, and they've got this look on their face where, for the first time maybe, and they've communicated this to me, they, they understand abstract work. Um, one person told me that they could, he could even sense the for temperature, the different colors um, of the texture of a painting. So, yeah, it's wonderful. It's remarkable. Their senses are more heightened. So, here we are in the center of the piece, the texture of the bark, the greens. Did I mention before that it is 24 inches by 24 inches? It's done on wood. And the thickness of the wood on this piece is one inch. And then the texture, oh, here we are in the interiors. And the texture is an additional inch and a quarter. So it's, it's pretty thick. Here are some pictures, yes. Here's with um, one of the other paintings from that group of eight. Mm -hmm. Not, this is in a bedroom. Pieces side by side. Mm -hmm. See how they enhance each other when there's more than one? Here we go. The painting in a different direction. Mm -hmm. So 
in the living room setting, and here we have See how relaxing the colors are? They're just soothing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour. Thank you.